All right, so here's the adjustable shoulder joints. So the way I did it. So these are the printed parts. This is the most difficult as far as time goes. It takes a while to print these and still make them strong. It's got the notch for the shoulder bolt. Got this piece, these will come different colors. Um, they're gonna be hid anyway. So these are all the printed parts. It's a five sixteenths by three and a half bolt. You'll need a five sixteenths lock nut. This is a quarter inch by two and a half quarter inch lock nut. The lock nut gonna go inside here for the quarter inch and the five sixteenths will go out here, but we'll get to that in a minute. Well, first what we gotta do is go on the inside here and take that nut and this bolt out. Take this apart. Alright, so once you remove that bolt, the outside piece will come off. So you have this piece here. will come off. You get your bolt, washer, spring, another washer, and the lock nut. All that will come off. So now, we've got to remove these screws here. And pull this piece off. Alright, so we remove the screws. This piece comes off. See how everything's hollow inside this thing? Well, the new one is not hollow. There's probably about, I can't remember what I did it at, 30 or 40 percent infill in there. So, uh, Got like eight walls. So it's I mean much stronger than that. Alright, so here's the piece that's gonna go and replace. So we're just gonna line up everything here. Looks like that lines up everything. that in these outer holes on the outside is where we're gonna put the screws these holes won't line up with the ones that's already on there so as long as you can get it in and get it lined up and get it in no matter what you're gonna have to put new holes in it anyway and now we're gonna put the screws in <clears throat> all right we got all our screws in except for one I have to put that one back in a little bit. It must have fell somewhere. All right, we got that put in. And now we've got to add this piece with the three and a half inch bolt. All right, so we put the bolt through the center. Um, it seats down inside this deal so it doesn't turn. And We're gonna need the washer off of the spring. We're gonna need the 5 sixteenths lock nut. And once we put the bolt in here, then it's gonna go into the right, shoulder. So once we get that slid in, and then we're gonna come back around to this side. I didn't like the way the uh, the original washer just caught the edges. It didn't kind of go over the whole square. It just kind of caught the inner edges. I was kind of worried about that uh, eventually because we want to tighten these up pretty good. So I made these little caps to fit over. And it covers the whole square. And once you get that cap on, then you can use that washer. 
and then we will put our 5 sixteenths lock nut on. All right, so I tighten that down, and what I use is a socket and a wrench to hold the inside. And with that being inset in there, I don't have to have another wrench on this side. I just got to hold this, and I tighten it down pretty good. I want it to still turn, but I want it pretty snug. And then I make sure that when I turn the outside, the lock nut turns with it, and it does. So we are good to go. <clears throat> and on to the next part. Okay, so after you tighten that bolt up, you want to put um, the hexagon shape to the front. That's going to be the front of the skeleton. And on this insert, male shoulder insert, he's here. We want it to run with, you've got the back of the shoulder with that Allen screw. So you want that notch facing the back. But that's going straight up and down. And then we'll take our quarter inch bolt. And we'll put our quarter inch bolt in from the front. And slide that in. And then we'll put our quarter inch nut inside the wing nut. down but we want to still be able to move it okay all right and then we got our notch on the back to put our upper arm piece on so all of these are being made different um, I'm trying to reduce the amount of filament but still make them strong so um, the inside of this here will be different on several batches i'm sure until i find out which one works um, with the least amount of filament but still strong enough to hold up so right there we're good um what you can do is figure out your position work the same way as the elbows uh, you'll line these holes up and put your screw in Flip it back the other way. Put your other screw in on the other side. And once you got that where you want it, you really only need one screw. Um, that's what I normally use, but uh, some people would want to put two. And then I can put my shoulder on, upper arm, whatever you want to call it. And we can add that on, and it'll give us all different extra movements uh, another thing you can do is a piece of wire to help you line up that first hole just kind of feel for the hole that black it's kind of hard to see and then throw your screw in there flip it over throw the other screw in and you can put your arm on you'll be good to go that's how they're installed